Randy, uh, another road win in regulation. Any comparison, uh, this one, to what you accomplished last week in Boston? Uh, I don't know. That seems like an awful long time ago, Boston. Mm -hmm. It seems like the, that uh, time flies, and you've got the next one and the next one and the, the one before that, and then the next one is always the most important one. And then I think tonight we we did a lot of good things early in the hockey game, and then we reverted back to some of the old habits that we've displayed. But tonight we found a way to get a big power play goal that, you know, kind of gave us a little bit more of a cushion. But then we give up a shorthanded one that kind of kicks you in the stomach and you, you know, you're wondering what's going on. But again, uh, we played well enough for 60 minutes and we got goaltending and our special teams gave us a, a chance to get two points. And, you know, uh, points are valuable no matter where they are. And when you go out on the road and get a, a big win to start your road trip. Hopefully that's a sign of things, uh, positive things for us. Randy, unlike the earlier stretch in the season when you were winning games but still not happy overall with the way the team is playing, do you find that the team is playing a little bit better now than they were in, when they well, were winning? we're playing games? better, but I, I think that we all agree that, you know, there are some things that I think we're, we're making individual mistakes like turnovers with the puck that shouldn't be made in those areas, and that's showing a little bit of pressure and a little bit of... Uh, what I'd say, lacks of days ago between the years on our, our part. When you do that, we're not bearing down hard enough. You know, we've got to learn how to manage the clock too in the game. The end of a period, start of a period, put pucks in, do all those things. And we seem to want to make life more difficult for ourselves, but can't lose sight of the fact we won. We won five games in a row now, and it's a positive step uh, with this hockey club going and getting the first one on the road. What was your message in the late time out there after they got Just it back? Play. Just go play. You know, don't move our feet, go play. You know, it, it's not like we haven't said that before, but with the late timeout, I just felt that any momentum that we could possibly snuff out, hopefully a timeout would give us a little bit of breather and show a little bit more confidence in what you're doing out there. Stay with the plan, go execute. And, and I thought we did, but, you know, that uh, from a standpoint, we put pucks in and we start to cycle. And of course, they're going to come with three and four guys, you know, then. They're going to pull their goalie. We knew that was coming. So those are all the things that, that were happening in, inside the game. But, but our guys withstood the, the barrage, and then now we move on. Has this been a proactive time for your blue line offensively? Well, again, you know, you have to find various ways to get offense, and we think our, our blue line can provide that. Now, we've got two young kids out there that are, are uh, offensive-minded and offensive-skilled, and we feel that they can continue to make a compliment. And, Again, Fran Franson and Finuff have been mainstays as, as far as offensive production uh, with our power play specifically. But again, we'd like more contributions from everybody in, in on the lineup. When you, when you lose the way you did in the couple games prior to this win streak, do you think this is almost a response to that, that that might have got the attention of the guys a little more? I just think that uh, the response that you look for is, is that we feel that this group can continue to grow as a, as a group and play to a higher level, but, but it, it's enough talking about it. It's time that action speaks louder than words, and we've got to continue to grow this group to, you know, to challenge and to be a playoff hockey club, and that was a statement we made before, and we're going to continue to make it because we believe in this group. We believe we can play to a higher level. We believe we've got more, and I think they believe they've got more. What's Kessel been doing well during this stretch? Well, he's, you know, again, with Kess, he's, he's a kid that uh, can score goals. You know, he had the puck finds him, and he doesn't need very many chances to, to score goals. And when he gets hot, he's one of those guys that everything he shoots has a chance to go in. He's, he's got a skill set that the puck follows him around, and those are what are signs of great players.